It is possible to be humble and confident at the same time. We just have to recognize who or what is the object of our confidence. Because quite honestly, that, the answer to that question could be all manner of things. I mean, think of some of the things that people place their utmost confidence in. Money, government, our own reputation, a position that we hold. And those are some of the more obvious ones. But then there's other things too that we tend to put our confidence in, like what other people think of us, good luck charms. Some people really do believe if they don't have something stashed in their pocket, or if they're not wearing the appropriate socks, that something really bad's gonna go, go down that day. When we look at ourselves, what do we do when we need a confidence boost? And that's going to look different for all of us. Some of us need to talk to that one person. Unless I talk to that one person, I'm gonna lose it. Some of us might think, get some retail therapy. Some of us may think, that scale doesn't tip to this exact number. I am in trouble. Some of us think if I can't run X amount of distance, that's where my confidence is and my physical aptitude or abilities. We all have these things in our head and we all have these go-tos when we need to feel confident. But the problem is that one person that you, your confidence rooted in and that you go to isn't always going to be available in one way or another. Or those clothes are gonna get worn out and then it's gonna necessitate another run to the mall. Or there will be a day when you lack the ability to shed those few pounds. So we all need to look at it, take an honest look at what is it that we're putting our confidence in? What are we anchoring it in? And if it's not in the person of Jesus Christ, then we have to recognize that's a counterfeit confidence place, whatever it is, a person, a place, a thing, our home, our salary, a position. The idolatry is exactly right. Something else has taken the place of our number one. You're exactly right. It's the object of our confidence that will show us and demonstrate is your confidence rooted in whom? Because if your confidence is solely in Christ, that is what makes it possible to have humility and confidence simultaneously. I can remember going through this lesson, and I wrote it out, believed every word of it, continued throughout the book, and I think I may have shared some of this with you, but at the very end, I felt different and I couldn't explain it. All I can tell you is I felt empowered in a new way and I, I didn't understand. I felt confident, a confidence that I had never felt my entire life as one who had struggled so deeply with insecurity. And I wondered, what is this? I don't understand. I didn't pray specifically for this. I don't understand where this is coming from. And then it was probably a couple weeks before this exact lesson came to my mind. I think I was proofreading through the first go. And as I read that, I'm like, oh my word. I wrote all of that, forgot that I even wrote it. And now after having been on the other side of Ephesians, I'm experiencing it and I'm living it. And this is why. And it's because he captured my heart in a new fresh way and transform my identity in him in such a way that has blessed me with a newfound confidence in Christ, certainly not in myself. It testifies too when we take God at his word and we believe it and we put it in our heart, the transformation that occurs. And I just wanna to say too, any of those things that we talked about when we do need a confidence boost there's nothing wrong with any of them in and, and of themselves. And sometimes they do help. Sometimes it helps to talk to that person. Sometimes it does help to make us feel a little bit better when we're more healthy. That, that's not wrong or sinful. It's when we try to root our utmost confidence in those places where we run into trouble. That's where we run into a form of idolatry.